Urban Outfitters are no stranger to controversial clothing, but this week they've outdone themselves. They unveiled this sweatshirt, and it looks kind of bloodstained. But call your jets for a second because that's not the end of it. You see that crest? Does the name ring a bell? Kent State University in Ohio is sadly best known for the shootings perpetrated by National Guardsmen during a peaceful protest against the Vietnam War. It left four students dead and nine more wounded. So let's be clear, it is always too soon to sell jumpers that appear to glorify actual murder. You're probably thinking, but Urban Outfitters are already infamous for their eat less and depression shirts. Why are you giving them the sweet oxygen of publicity? Well, because this time the company seemed to have been genuinely sideswiped by the negative reaction, which they say is simply a misunderstanding. A spokes tweeter helpfully explained that the colouring is part of their sun-faded vintage collection. The item was immediately removed from sale, suggesting that this was a genuine, monumental brain fart. Even giving them the benefit of the doubt, we're left asking, what were they thinking? And while we're at it, what about these guys? Zara, what were you thinking when designing this cute kitty sheriff top? Clearly it wasn't. Hold up a minute. This bears a striking resemblance to a concentration camp uniform. And back in 2007, when this handbag appeared in your shops, we have to assume that whoever sourced it simply loved the pattern. Especially the Gamadian cross, a positive symbol in many ancient cultures. That person must have been from the western hemisphere of another planet where the swastika isn't primarily recognised as the symbol for Nazism. Jesse Jackson nailed it in 2012 when he branded these Adidas trainers slave shoes. The designer said he was inspired by a toy monster from the 1980s, but even so, Mr. Designer, what were you thinking? The backlash was intense, with accusations ranging from racism to glorifying thugwear. And to that, I'd add the charge of being truly fugly. Earlier this year, some bright spark at Sainsbury's thought, I know what will entice people to buy this DVD of 12 Years a Slave. Why? the chance to purchase their very own slave outfit. No Sainsbury's employee. What were you thinking? The display quickly disappeared, though not faster than the speed of social media. <coughs> Meanwhile, at Asda, the brain fart had a longer trail. How else could these KKK hoods, uh, I mean, wearable England flags, have made it as far as supermarket shelves for the 2014 World Cup? Perhaps it's unfair to expect designers to scrutinize their work for cultural sensitivity. After all, where would we be without the likes of Vivian Westwood and Malcolm McLaren? But of course there's a difference between feminist or anti-establishment fashion and the lack or complete absence of thought. Because the answer to that glaring question, what were they thinking, is the awkward realisation that they probably weren't. Next time you use the bathroom, take a moment to reflect on this. More people around the world have access to mobile phones than to toilets. 